You want to use images that are stored on your OneDrive or SharePoint for your Power BI reports? Then you have to watch out because what might look like this when you look at your report might look like this when your end users look at your report. Now, in this video, we're going to have a look at why that is and how to get the correct link that makes sure that the images always show for your end users. Let's dive in. There are more and more amazing ways in which we can use images in our Power BI reports. For example, in the new cards or new slice of visuals. Now, what is important though, is that the path, the URL to these images is also accessible for the end users that are looking at your report and not only for yourself. Now, that is where it gets sometimes a bit tricky when we are working with OneDrive or SharePoint. Let's go to an example. Over here, I have a new slice of visual, which lets us filter on different product categories. Now, at the moment, it doesn't look amazing. However, it will look a little bit better when we have matching images for each product category. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So how can we do that? Let's go to the formatting options and let's go here to images. And there you find an image fields well. Now on here, we need either a column with the URLs, the paths to these images for each product category, or alternatively, you can also go for a measure. Now I go for that second approach. I have already a measure set up. So this one over here. Now over here, I'm using a switch function to check the product category. If it's equal to audio, then I want to return image one, computers, image two, cell phones, image three. Now, instead of having here image one, two, and three, we need the path to these images. Now, before we're going to figure that part out, let's take that measure and also make sure always that here on the measure tools, data category, you select image URL. Okay. Now that measure we can then use here for the formatting option. So I go back to formatting images and use that measures measure on the field as well. So let me look for it. And it's this one over here. Now you see nothing really happened. It's just that the text went down a little bit because there's now an image placeholder. Okay. Now the interesting part, the paths, the URLs. Okay. Now I have the images that I want to use here in this folder. Now this is a folder synced with SharePoint or OneDrive for business. It's the same. And over here, I'm going to right click on that first image and see if we can find a URL that we can use. So OneDrive share. Now from here, I can directly click on copy link or I can go to settings and from settings, we can adjust the link so that only people within our organization can see it or people that already have access or people that you specifically choose. Now, in our case, we want to have a link that always works for anybody. All right. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to go back and then copy that link. And now I'm going to go back to Power BI, select that measure from before. And here I'm just going to copy it in for the first one. All right. Now let me zoom out so that you can see the whole link. There you go. Okay. Now let's see if that changes anything in our report, if the image shows and hmm, nothing shows, doesn't work. However, before we try to figure out the next alternative, let's double check this. I'm going to save the report and let's see if it uh, maybe shows in Power BI service. So I'm going to publish the report, choose the workspace. I want to have it in, select it and let's follow the link to Power BI service. And Again, nothing, also not in Power BI service. So that's not good. And the reason for that is that when we have a closer look at that link, it just brings us to a page where we can see the image, but also other options like download, share, edit, and copy the link again. So it's not a direct link to the image itself. So we need to look further. Okay. I'm going to go back to the file explorer, right click on that same image. And then we go to OneDrive. Now this time we can skip share, copy link, just copies that same link from before. Now let's try view online maybe. All right. So that brings us to a new web browser tab and that URL looks a bit different. Okay. So I'm hopeful. Let's try this one that we see over there. Now let's close the formula bar and see if something changed. Mm. Also this time we're out of luck, but again, let's double check in Power BI service as well. So I'm going to save the workbook and click here on publish. Now choose the workspace again, where you would like to have it. And if it was the same workspace, then you also have to click on replace and follow the link to Power BI service. And oh, this time we do have an image. Now it is not pretty because well, yeah, it needs a little bit more space, but you do see an image here in Power BI service because now, well, it knows who is looking at the report 
and that makes a big difference. So just to make sure that you can see it well, let me click you on edit and then make this a little bit bigger. Yep, there we go. We have the image. All right, so it seems like we have a winner. Let me also do it quickly for the other ones. Now to get the URL for the other images, we can either do it in the same way as before, or you could also go to the OneDrive portal. Now here we have our three images again, and then you just click on the three dots. Now you see we have options like share, copy link, manage access, what you have seen before in the same folder as well. But here all the way down, we have details. And that opens that panel on the right. There you can scroll down and there you can copy the path. Now that path is almost the same as what we had before. Let me show it over here in our Power BI desktop file. Let's paste it in. And you see the beginning part is always exactly the same until the folder. And then we have the name of the image followed by JPEG PNG. And well, here at the end we have for the first method, question mark, rep equals one. For the second method, we don't have that. Ah, let's see if there is a difference. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for image three. Okay, perfect. Now here in Power BI Desktop, probably nothing changes yet, right? So if I close the formula bar, no, no difference. So I'm going to publish again, save, home tab, then publish, choose your workspace, select it. And because it's the same workspace, we have to click on replace. And then let's go to Power BI service. All right, perfect. Now you see the images popping up over there. Let me make it bigger so that you can see them. All right, that is exactly what I was hoping for. We have the three images showing. Okay, good. So at this point, you might think, okay, got it to work. Maybe it doesn't show on Power BI desktop, but I don't care. As soon as I start, publishing it to Power BI service, people will see it. And that is the dangerous part. Now, if we now publish this with other people, well, let's see what happens. I'm going to save what we got over here. All right. And then we can go to file. And here, let's share it with the whole wide world. So publish to web, okay. Which means everybody that, anybody that has that link can open the report, okay. So copy it. And to make sure it's a good test, let's go to a different browser, clear the history, cookies, etc., and put in that link. Okay. so. I have over here Edge open, let's go there. Then we can go and clear the history. So let's click here on the bin icon and I wanna clear everything. And then I click on a new tab and let's paste it in there. All right, now our images don't show. So that is not really what I was hoping for because to see these images, well, I need to have access to the images. I need to authenticate myself, which I cannot do here. So I, don't see the images. And this is probably not what you want as the Power BI report developer. Okay, but what happens if we would share it with somebody that's within our organization? Would that be different? Let's try. So I'm gonna go back and let me just switch to reading view and then share. Okay, and I'm going to double check who can see it, people in your organization with the link. Okay, that's what I want. Copy the link. And now let's go back to that other browser uh, where I cleared everything and Let's paste it in there. Now this time I'm going to pretend to be somebody else from my organization and my colleague also doesn't see the images. So the images are only visible for me. Okay, that's not good. So we need to find a different link. And that is exactly where most people get stuck and think, oh, OneDrive or SharePoint, is, it's not a good option. But actually, it is possible. Let me show you. Let's go back to our file explorer. There we have our images again. So let's right click on the first one. And you might think, okay, hmm, then we cover all of the options already. Hmm, no, there is still an option. Let's go here to OneDrive and click on share. Just to be sure, double check that this one is selected, anyone, all right, is still selected. I'm going to copy that link, and now we go back to Power BI. So back in Power BI desktop, I'm going to select my measure, and now I'm going to change that first link. Okay, so I'm going to copy paste, well, what we actually started it off with, okay? And now, the crucial part, the moment that you probably were waiting for. So here you have to delete everything that after the question mark. And there you just type in download equals one. Okay, now before we're going to test that out, let me copy it first to the browser. I'm going to paste it in there, press enter. I see it's just direct link to that image. Okay, perfect. And now let's see if it works. 
And success, we have an image over here in Power BI Desktop. It did not have to publish it even. Okay, so let me select it and make it bigger again, just like we had before. So that's it. We have now a publicly accessible link. So let me do it quickly for the other two as well. All right, perfect. Here you go. We have our images in our new slicer visual. Now, to double check if this really works, let's publish it again, share it with our colleague or with the whole world and see if the images are still shown. Okay, so I'm going to save this workbook, click on publish. Again, choose your workspace, click on select, then replace, and let's go to Power BI service. Now, just like before, we can then share it with our colleagues. So over here, we have the link. All right, so back in the other browser, I go over here, clear the history, and then open a new tab, and then over here, paste in the new link, then log in as my colleague, and Ta-da, the images are visible. And what if we publish it to the web like we did before? Let's try that as well. All right, so back in Power BI Service in my account, I'm gonna go to File, Embed Report, Publish to Web. Okay, I copy the link, then I go to the other browser, and maybe for fun, let's also go into private mode and then paste it in there. And now, <laughs> this is not the result that I was hoping for. So something went wrong. Let's maybe republish it to a different workspace or remove it from the workspace so that we have a completely clean link, all right? So I'm going to save it under a different name, then go over the steps again. I'm choosing a different workspace this time, and then follow the link again to Power BI Service, where we can now get again a new link. So embed report, publish to web. Yep, 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 publish. All right, now we have a new, completely new link. All right, so that one should work. I'm going to copy it, go to Edge, and over here, let's go to a new browser tab, paste it in there, and whew, this time it works. All right, good. So you see, we have now a good way, the correct way of using images from OneDrive or SharePoint in Power BI. Now, one more thing, there's a difference between OneDrive for business and SharePoint versus OneDrive personal. If you are using your personal OneDrive, then you can also get the link and do the same trick with replacing everything after the question mark with download equals one and it will work as well. Okay, so thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to see more tips and tricks around Power BI, then check them out over here. And the next Power BI transformation program is coming up. If you want to build reports with me, learn all of my tips and tricks, then check it out over here. Thank you for watching. I see you in the next one.